Hello everybody, uh, my name is Anil Kokram. I'm the head of department of electronic and electrical engineering here at Trinity College in Dublin. And I just want to say a few words about uh, our master's program in electronic information engineering. The, the first point to make is that it's all about the impact that information engineering has had in uh, engineering as a whole and electronics in particular over the last 10 or 20 years. We developed this program specifically to acknowledge the fact that uh, information processing is now at the heart of almost every single device that you encounter every day, certainly your mobile phone, but also more esoteric things like uh, autonomous vehicles and driver assist in your car. A lot of these in in invisible uh, products which influence your lives every day. And in this program, uh, you are led through a series of uh, modules that span the area of information engineering, particularly computational methods and deep learning, uh, but also allow you to go s into specifics, like uh, I do a module in motion picture engineering, another one of my colleagues does something on speech and audio recognition. Um, and then we have a number of colleagues working in the hardware design area, looking at system on a chip, and uh, modeling for uh, micro devices. Now, when it comes to thinking about the structure of the program, it's a one-year program, um, but you can enter it and leave at different stages. So we have a 30 credit postgraduate certificate, a 60 credit diploma, and then the entire master's program is 90 credits and lasts one year. A big part of this program is a uh, is a 30 credit project module in which uh, students do some aspect of research and design as part of this project. Students working with me, for instance, uh, work in the area of motion picture, special effects or media streaming. Um, we have colleagues as well working in 5G, Internet of Things, cyber physical systems and so on. So uh, please have a look at the website and um, Contact us if you need more information, and we look forward to welcoming you uh, in this program next year. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Professor Biswajit Basu, and I'm the coordinator of uh, the MSc in Computational Science and Engineering. Uh, this program sits beside the Masters in Electronic and Information Engineering and uh, uses uh, some of the modules from that program as well. The unique feature of uh, Computational Science and Engineering is that this has been kind of co-developed by Professor Kokaram and myself based on the fact that we focus on not just uh, uh, software uh, algorithm or programming or for example just on numerical methods but it's a, a blend of uh, numerical techniques with uh, various uh, computational uh, schemes and a theory of computation and then applied to several different uh, domain specific problems. And with this in mind, we have developed some specific modules which are related to this uh, particular uh, program, like quantum computing, computation for transportation engineering, and also uh, simulation for geophysical modeling. Apart from that, uh, modules such as cyber physical system uh, and deep learning, which also is offered as part of electronic information engineering, is available for the students here. Uh, using these kind of uh, modules, we tend to give the students an exposure to various kind of theoretical backgrounds required, but also we embed uh, many projects in these modules where students can actually apply their knowledge and develop something and get a tangible result out of this. The other interesting feature about this program is that we have strong industry connection and there are big logistics companies like Alstom who directly uh, engages with us and delivers lectures, but also co-supervises project. And they uh, have built in machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence as part of the computational for transportation engineering. Uh, similarly, the quantum computing module also has connection with IBM because they allow us to use their quantum computers and that's a great experience for the students because the students can then implement the codes on the quantum computer. The IBM also uh, comes and talks to the students and uh, they have commended the projects uh, which we actually run as mini projects a part of the module that we have. Uh, the program was uh, developed uh, mainly to cater for the current industry demand where uh, 
uh, industries uh, not only like somebody who can do a programming or coding or develop software, but also uh, knows the theory of computation. So therefore, uh, this particular program where uh, we start from the theory of the computation to development of codes and then application to domain-specific areas actually is the future. So uh, if uh, you're interested in this program, please look at the website and uh, we'd like to welcome you uh, to Trinity College in the near future. Thank you.